Hello my soccer universe. Uh, I decided after the not so cheerful video on my current relationship with the Austrian national team, I'll show you another jersey because that's always fun, uh, but it's not the one that I'm wearing, although it makes its channel de debut. This is now my newly acquired replacement uh, jersey, Euro 2008 Spain. Really nice jersey, I have, have, have to say. And if I would, would have known that the other one was fake, I mean this one fits so much more comfortable. But we'll not talk about this jersey. I want to show you my only Ukraine jersey so far. Um, the beginning of last year, I think it was, uh, or maybe even later, I think it was the beginning of last uh, year, or was it uh, even uh, at the end of 2019? I really was looking for Ukraine jerseys. And I almost, <laughs> I think I missed it just by a teeny, teeny bit. I was about to buy the World Cup 2006 jersey with Shevchenko on the back, although I never liked that lotto template with all the uh, <laughs> spears or whatever you want to call this coming. Come, come, come but I saw Ukraine play Spain uh, at that World World Cup, so it would have uh, would have been really befitting. And I think two days before on this webpage that I showed you a video of where I'm shopping, it was still available. And then, uh, but I. I I want to wait until the salary comes in because that's your, usually the day when, yeah, that's when I buy jerseys. Um, and then it was not there. However, I had a backup and this was this beautiful 98-99 Puma jersey. Um, which I have to say initially I like I liked anyway better and I think it's an absolute steal. I mean, I think I got this, I want to say 15 euros, 20 euros. Not much. 15 euros, I think it was. Um, and then I saw that on Classic Football Brochures, they're selling this one for, uh, I think, almost a hundred pounds. So yeah, absolute steal, this one, I have to say. Um, it also is interesting because this is the same template that Austria was wearing in qualifying for the World Cup 98. So they were wearing very 97 and then the jersey was not seen, uh, that was really only worn in 997. Where Ukraine then always have was with the Puma Tata templates uh, like a cycle uh, behind Austria in this case. Uh, I actually really, really like, like this jersey, I have to say. Um, it has quite some ventilation in there, which is always some nice feature. Um, it had a, a pretty humongous tag, I actually like the tag on the inside here. Uh, which is pretty sweet. Uh, the design in, in, in it itself with the, um, you know, we have the blue head and you have the, yeah, the yellow on top and so on. That is rather interesting. I know Austria had in white, then this was black grayish and here this was black and yellow. So uh, kind of interesting uh, that this is only two, two color where the Austrian design was uh, in three color colors in a way. The crest is still the old one. Yes, it has a soccer ball, but that is actually all right to me. And then here's the crown. Uh, it is a really nice jersey. The color, yeah, back then I didn't like like it, but this is now a modern type color. I mean, this was in, they, this came out in 97, or as I said, this was 9, 98, 99 for Ukraine. Uh, I think I didn't see this type of car color again until uh, the Italy 2012 uh, jersey for, you know, uh, 14 years later. So yeah, uh, kind of a little bit ahead of its time, also Puma. Uh, there is not really much to it else, uh, I mean it is plain on the back, but it was a really nice deal. I think it's a really good jersey, I actually like to wear this one here and there um, quite a bit. Uh, the team itself was almost successful wearing this one. This was a, they were in a qualifying group with France and Russia uh, that went down to the last match day where Ukraine that had to play in Russia. Russia with with a win would would have won the group. A draw would have secured U Ukraine second spot. Russia took the lead, lay led on Ukraine through Shevchenko, a savable free kick. Equalized. I, I actually remember this, this this game because because this was one of the most exciting qualifying groups where really three teams were going for it and there was a real chance that the world champions will not make it to Euro 2000. That would have been different history. Uh, and then Ukraine kind of outs Russia and these were the only two times that Ukraine and Russia played in a competitive match. Go figure. And yeah, uh, then they lost in the playoffs to Slovenia uh, where I think they took a lead early in Ljubljana. Slovenia came back late to win it 2-1, then Shevchenko gave them a lead in Kiev and late Pauline 
gets the equalizer and Ukraine was out, which was the time where Ukraine really had trouble qualifying for big tournaments uh, with a team that was with Rebrov, uh, Shevchenko, I mean, absolutely great team. Probably one of the best in that time that never made it to a big tournament. And I think it was a little bit too late when they actually made them a good run at the 2006 World Cup, uh, finally. So yeah, this is my Ukraine jersey. Uh, as I said, I really like it. I really wanted to have a Ukraine jersey for the longest of times. I, I remember I received this in a parcel uh, in my office and I unpacked it and no one of my colleagues could tell that this, this was Ukraine because they of course couldn't read the Cyrillic there, which uh, I always like to do that and then I surprised them. Yeah, this is Ukraine. Ah, wow. So yeah. Pretty cool jersey. Uh, here, by the way, there's a huge Puma tag on the bottom there too. Well, let me know what you think about this one. Give me a thumbs up, enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more uh, videos like these and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, wish you a wonderful day. Bye.